Hey everybody, Rich Menga here. I just downloaded Firefox 13 and I'm going to show you what I do to make Firefox faster from start to finish. So I just downloaded it and I'm going to run it. And here we go. So it extracts itself first. Let me just minimize this. Yep. Okay, next. Custom installation. Next. Next. Uh, now, what is the maintenance service? You might be wondering what that is. That's sort of like what Google Chrome does in the background, where it uh, it's a silent updater, where the browser will automatically update itself. I don't prefer to have the browser do that. I like checking for updates manually, but you might want to have it automatic but I don't enable that. I uh, don't want it on the desktop and I do want it in the start menu programs folder. I do not want it as my default browser because I use Chrome and install. Launch now. Yep. I don't want to import anything. Now, for some of you, you may want to import stuff. And, by the way, for a couple of versions now, you are able to import all your settings from Chrome, which is cool, because you couldn't do that before in Firefox, but you can now. But I'm not going to import anything. Just do this fresh, brand new. Alright. Not set as your default browser. No and no and maximize know your rights now if you click this button it will tell you about the public license and stuff like that you know whatever okay so it's here and we'll, we're on the about home that's also something new to firefox 13 is about home which is kinda google chrome-ish but anyway, let's start. We're going to options. Okay. When Firefox starts, I want it blank. Show a blank page. So it doesn't load anything. Therefore, it loads faster. Uh, as far as the tabs are concerned, everything here... Yeah, there's really nothing here that would increase speed, so I'll leave that alone. And content, this is okay applications that's okay privacy tell websites I do not want to be tracked oh yes Firefox will remember history ordinarily this is a good thing what I change here is I use custom settings and with cookies specifically I choose I close Firefox now what this will do is that any cookies that are in the Firefox browser are automatically deleted when you close the browser this isn't necessarily for a speed increase although sometimes it does help with speed because uh, it refreshes the cookie session each time you load the browser but I do it more for privacy reasons because uh, if there's any tracking cookies they're gone when the browser is closed and I don't have to use private browsing sessions in order to uh, enable that which is cool now in the location bar I have it set to history well it's default history and bookmarks you might want to set that either to just history or nothing because sometimes on slower computers if you're typing in the address bar it will stutter and pause if you have a lot of history uh, web history in the browser so if you have it set to nothing it will there's no stuttering and there's no pausing but I'm going to leave that as is uh, security yeah we're good here sync I'm not going to set that up under advanced okay now it does come by default Firefox 13 does enable smooth scrolling by default if you want to turn that off right here advanced general tab uncheck I can't stand smooth scrolling that's just me I know some of you like it like Opera for example always has smooth scrolling enabled by default I believe but anyway now another thing here is use hardware acceleration where available if you are on an older computer this it may the browser may actually run 
faster if you have this disabled just by unchecking it. I'm going to leave it enabled, but sometimes it can do more harm than good on an older computer, so uh, something to bear in mind there. And do, 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 do. yeah, we're good here. Network, okay, we're good here. Update, yeah, we'll update itself. Encryption, that's fine. And okay, now we're not done yet. There's a couple other things that I do. I go to about colon config. That's the address, A-B-O-U-T colon C-O-N-F-I-G. You get this thing that says, this might void your warranty. Uncheck that box. Click the I'll be careful. Here is where I go in and turn off what I consider to be needless animations. So in the search field up here, which is different from the address bar, this is just for the settings in the configuration, I type in the beginning of the word animation, A-N-I-M. Again, that's A-N-I-M, N-M. And we have a few settings here. Browse full screen animate up. Now what this does is that when you press F11, the browser will animate into full screen, which I personally think is dumb. It it does it's nothing does nothing but slow down the browser when that happens. It's a value of one. So I double click that and I change that to a value of zero. After that there's browser panora panorama animate zoom. That can be set double clicked to be set to false. Uh, browser preferences animate fade in that's already set to false so we can leave that as is browser tabs animate now what it does is that when you open a new tab well you can't really see oh there it is yeah when you close the tab you can see it where things animate you can just double click that to set to false and then when you open a tab and then close that tab the animation is gone that may not seem like a lot, but believe me, that does speed things up. So then after that, let me go back to about, oops, type it correct, about colon home. We're all good at that point, and uh, you don't need to download any add-ons or extensions to do anything I just showed you. And it should speed up your Firefox browsing experience. So, follow those tips, and I'm not saying it's going to make the browser blazing fast, but it does make it faster than it was, and any little speed increase helps.